So putting an inline switch in your lamp is an easy task. So the lamp we use right here on our counter today, we're going to put in a new switch in here and sharpen our plug. You can see it's got all sorts of tangled up to plug it in over here. So I've untangled the card. So the first thing we want to do is determine how long we want this card to make to cut out all this extra. So we plug it in, put it through our loop, put it up here, and the lamp is usually pushed over here. So we'll give about uh, six to ten inches of extra length in here. So as you pull this around, this goes to here. The lamp will make the extension about to there, but really the lamp typically goes about right here. So we'll make the plug or the switch rather somewhere in the first three or four inches. Therefore, it's not underneath the counter to be right on the counter. Well, I'll have to ask Picasso what she really wants on that. Okay, so I've moved into my workshop. So what we want from the plug to the very end of the lamp, we want that to be 39 inches. And then we want the switch to be from here to there, which is 18 inches. So we know that within this 39 inches, we'll have to come back over here 18 inches and put the plug in. So that's gonna require us to actually take off this cord and put in the switch inside here. So now we're just going to go to the bottom of the lamp and very gingerly take off this bottom housing on it. Sometimes you can do it with a screwdriver. We'll just see. Some this is like it's felt. into this pole here and it slides up and goes all the way to the top of this switch up here. So we're not really worried about trying to re rewire all of this all the way at the top. So we'll just take our switch, we'll rejoin it inside here and so the seam of uh, connecting this together will be inside this and they'll cover it. All right, so we push this in a little bit and create a little bit of slack. So now we'll just come along and just cut this and we can pull this out and we know that our total length will be able to piece that back together. We're just taking our time just cutting off. This is very soft plastic. If you cut too deep, you'll cut into the wire. And so you can sometimes just roll it around like this, get a cut just about, and then pull off the plastic. So we're going to try to do that. There we go. We're getting real close. There we go. So we have a nice... So you can see that we've stripped one end of that, and now we'll strip the other. And that came across nicely. So we'll do the same thing for the other end and then we'll put this inside here and start to fix that. So now we have our card cut to the length that we want. And so we're gonna push this back in here. Give this enough leeway, we'll pull it back out here a little bit. So what we'll end up doing is we're gonna happen to have some wire nuts and I think this will be perfect for what we're gonna do here, so. Twist these together a little bit. And we'll put this wire nut a 
that together. We just twist that on. And that should be good and snug. And then we're going to pull this back out some. And then we, we'll come back in and glue that piece of cardboard back on this frame here at the very last. So now we have that in, then we're going to put our other measure, we put a piece of tape on for the inches that we want the switch to go. And so the switch will go right here. We're going to cut that. Okay, now I took our switch off. Cover is just a matter of loosening a couple of screws. And there's our own off switch. And I didn't look first, but this has one line going through which we didn't need to cut, I and mean, the other one is connected here and here. So when you turn it to on, it'll connect the, uh, the second line for electricity to flow. So we'll go ahead and seam this one up and put that one together there and see how it works. So here's what I'm going to do. I want my seam for my two lines to be on this side over here. So this will be wrapped with electrical tape there. This will go around that end. And then you can see for this side over here, it's a bit long for what, what I need. So this will be about right here. So I'm going to come in here and cut that. So I don't need all that. And then cut this off to make my connection there. It's important when you lay your wire in here that you lay it in the same way that you tighten the screw. So this one will go on top of that over here. This one, since tightened this way, will lay the wire underneath here and turn that way. So the first thing I actually want to do is join the two lower ends together and then we'll come in and connect those two uppers. This guy's got to go underneath. I'm going to just a slight curve on that. Get that curve going in there. And we can tighten him down. Alright, so the other guy, we're going to spin our thread. We're going to put a little bit of a curve in here. Sometimes you can use your screwdriver to put a little hook like that. This guy's going to come around like that. And we tighten the screw down. Alright. One thing left to do is Screws go in one side, and then little nuts fit on top of that. Okay, now we have our switch installed in our line. Let's check it out. Put the light bulb in. Plug it in. Voila, it works. Another successful project. So now we have to do is put our bottom on and we'll be done. So putting an inline switch in your lamp is an easy task and now you know how to do it. You'll have a happy time trying to fix all those projects. 
So I chose the toggle switch because it's a lot easier than the wheel switch. This is a wheel switch which was in here. And this was a little sharp. My wife felt like that it was uh, more difficult to do than something just a touch larger and just to push of the switch made it easy to go on and off. So if you like our projects, you want to make them go on, give us a thumbs up and come back and see us real soon. Now we have a little lamp, has the exact length of cord that we needed. Switch is perfect, reach underneath, toggle it on and off, makes it easy. You can move it around 